Hey, fuzz butts, it's Foxler. So apparently, to the, the internet has said that furry pride is a wrong thing. Which, let's get down to the nitty gritty on that. So apparently, the furry fandom is considered a hobby. Which, if you think it is, that's totally fine. I have no problem with it personally. And if that's what you want to practice in the fandom, that's, that's your doing. For some furries, like myself, I think I have a lot of furry pride. I've been a furry for over 17 years. And ever since, you know, I was a young little teenager that I had to c connect to the internet. You know, that classic dial-up everybody loves? <laughs> and that's defined me my whole life, is being this persona, Foxer, you see today. I built an emotional character through this. And apparently, for some reason, for some furries, that's not acceptable. But, once again, if you don't think it is, that's totally fine. I'll do me, you do you. And I think with how the fandom is going right now, I think we need more people that are prideful about who they are. And not a sense of being a furry, mind do you. It's about being prideful about who you are. And if it is being a furry, you should do it. And that's what makes you who you are. And, you know, a few examples about, you know, other things that may I, people or myself maybe have a lot of pride in. You know, I'm a big, I'm a big motor fur fan, you know. I love cars, you know. I drive a Porsche and a couple Porsches and a Land Rover. And I can tell you, for an everyday car, that's the worst thing to buy. Oh, uh, 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 uh. But... With a little bit of effort and time, you can make anything happen. And that's what makes you prideful about what you do. It's what you're capable of doing. What you excel beyond. And to be comfortable wearing a giant fursuit or interacting with different people that like anthropomorphic animals, that's a challenge. Maybe because you enjoy it. Or maybe you have different interests in it. I couldn't define them all here, but, you know, for me, it's part of my identity. I can't, I can't remove Foxler. Life or death, he is always with me. And some people see the, the furry fandom that way. They see other people that way. And that happens. But that's okay. And the fact that we need to go out and dictate what other furries do because they may take a little bit more passion for this loving community. Oh, that's just, it's a bit extreme. So, I want everybody to just enjoy who they are. Become who they want to be. And if you need, if your friends say otherwise. Like, I've had plenty of friends say to me, I'm a bit too extreme as a furry. I make it evolve around everything. I mean, my family knows. My boss knows. All the other non-furry things I do, like car shows and my off-roading. They know I'm a furry. Sometimes they don't like it, especially when I always talk about it or you know, I'm always in a fursuit, especially when I'm driving, which is not the most smartest thing. Do not do that. That'll get you in some serious trouble. <laughs> but it's still fun. It's still fun to be you, even if it's a bit extreme. And as long as you're happy doing it, and you can succeed in life doing it, why, why stop it? So... That is my two cents on the situation. And as many people that want to say I'm maybe dense or maybe a little bit mental, you know, well, I'm sorry that you fall on the regular norm of normal because I didn't join the fandom to be normal. I didn't drive a Porsche to be normal. I am not Foxler to be normal.